and weather conditions looking really good for the launch, so it should be a good uh, launch, and we should maybe be able to see it, although there are a decent amount of clouds around. But uh, yes, 12.04 tonight, another SpaceX launch. Well, the word today, warm, windy. You can see that caution flag blowing in the breeze, but didn't keep people from enjoying uh, the sand today. And temperatures were relatively comfortable in the low 80s to upper 70s for most. Let me show you this first alert weather spotter photo. This is from Fred Brandt in Stewart and a gorgeous sunrise today. Just beautiful out there from Stewart Beach and Eric Pasquarelli took the shot of the Jupiter Inlet. So love seeing our beautiful photos from the area. Breezy right now with winds out of the southeast. 17 in Boca, 15 West Palm, 14 in Stewart, but calm in Okeechobee. So where we do have those elevated winds will stay mild overnight with readings dropping into the low 70s at the coast, mid 60s across the Treasure Coast, our western communities and near the lake too. So I want to show you the winds as we head into Wednesday. A very warm day with highs warming into the mid 80s. 36 mile per hour wind gusts, Vero Beach and Sebastian. 29 for West Palm Beach. Take you to a Thursday. This is going to be right ahead of when the front moves in. So it will be the windiest time of Thursday. We could see wind gusts upwards of 43 miles per hour in Sebastian. But we quickly see those winds subside by Friday evening. The front is to our south. The pressure gradient relaxes and winds less than 10 miles per hour. But in the meantime, we do have some marine hazards to tell you about. A high risk of rip currents does uh, will have be in effect until Thursday evening and also a small craft advisory through Thursday evening. Seas four to six, occasionally up to eight feet. So unfortunately, not good boating weather. Now here's what's happening. We're going to be very warm over Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday, 1030 in the morning, you start to see the line moving through the Tampa Bay area. Here comes the cold front. It pushes through our area late Thursday by early Friday morning. We're clearing out. So across the southeast United States, they do have some severe weather right now. And tomorrow that threat shifts eastward. But the good news, by the time the line pushes into our area, we are not expecting any severe weather, uh, just general variety thunder. Storm. So let me show you the timing of the rain ahead of the front. The rain, the storms moving in Thursday, 3 p.m., just about into Okeechobee, and then by 5 p.m. into portions of Indian River County, Fort Pierce, Port St. Lucie, Martin County, into Western Palm Beach County early Thursday evening. The majority of the rain pushes offshore by late Thursday, and then by early Friday, we're seeing clearing skies paving the way for a very nice weekend. Here comes that drier air that will lower our humidity as we head into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So for tonight, breezy, mild, 71 degrees, and your seven-day forecast showing that big spike in temperatures, 90 degrees by Thursday, a chance of showers late Thursday night to early Friday morning, and then a beautiful weekend ahead with high temps in the low 80s.